Hello everyone, I'm Lucia Tian with Coffee and Craft. Uh, today I have released Little Craft Cat version 1.5.4, which include a lot of useful features um, and enhancement. So please watch this video till the end. Okay, so the first one is uh, about the repository template. Um, so uh, until uh, previous version, um, you know, you could register uh, something like this is the card pocket uh, design and this is like a pass case and it was possible to register these as a t uh, template but you could just register as a like a design and there was no way to reuse it for stitching uh, or editing so um, it was like a read only type of thing but from this version uh, so right click on it and then uh, register as a template to the repository and then let's name it like uh, card pocket and this part is registered to a uh, repository and uh, let's open it and then here's the one card pocket this is the one i just created and double clicking will bring it on a grid so uh, let's move it here so uh, right now uh, this is just a template and, and uh, nothing else so you can't do anything else you can't edit uh, you can't do stitching or anything just a you know uh, design template but I, I added this feature to separate a template into shapes so if you do that then all the pieces will be uh, you know disassembled and then uh, now this is a single uh, uh, basic line and th these are the lines and then you can of course um, you know edit if you want or do stitching if you want uh, yeah something like that so you, you can reuse it um, you know, anytime you want so you can reuse it uh, anytime anywhere you want and things like this one as well so uh, this one includes some uh, you know arc i think this is arc uh yeah this is a veggie sorry but that uh, th these are the arc and then um, including this one yeah let's let's have like circle as well and then let's register this as a template right click on it register as a template to repository and then just name it um, pass case now it registered and then let's call it back pass case double click so this is the one I just registered and at this moment this is just a design template but uh, what I can do is uh, right click on it and separate the template into shapes so this will change the static picture uh, into a, a you know, walkable design so now you can do um, you know stitching from here to here for example or um, change the color of the lines uh, something like this yeah so uh, you can do whatever you want so this is the first enhancement uh, in this version uh, the next one is about the uh, beige line uh, editing uh, so let me so these are um, yeah three beige lines like this and until previous version um, if you move this edge then this control point wasn't moving together so it was staying here so um, the shape so if you want to uh, change the uh, entire shape like you know shrink it like a little bit then you have to move the edge and then move the control point and then do that for uh, do it for everything so it was not easy to do it but from this version uh, what you can do is uh, you can actually move it like this you know you can uh, move all together like this one too keeping the the, the shape um, of the curve as is so editing budget line uh, became much much easier um, than before this one as well and of course if you want to uh, edit this control point separately or independently uh, you can do it like this so if you want to make a big change um, uh, on a design then you can move uh, control point individually or separately uh, but if you want to keep 
uh, the shape as is, then um, move the edge uh, of the veg align, either a single one or uh, move it together. Yeah, so this is much, much easier than before. Okay, the third thing is about the uh, snap feature. Uh, so I think you uh, all know that um, Leathercraft CAD has a snap feature. So uh, if you want to align this point to this point, uh, it's very easy to do it because there is a snap feature. And then uh, like the same way, uh, if you want to align this one to uh, this one, uh, you can do it. But it was not possible to align this point to a grid uh, intersection. Uh, because there are too many uh, points and if all of these edges uh, are you know, snapping to the grid then uh, you, you can't move <laughs> uh, freely so um, it wasn't possible but from this version um, i added a feature to limit um, the snapping point to only one so set the mouse pointer position as the snap point of the selected shapes um, so this will make um, only this one as a snapping point so uh, these points will no longer align to uh, the other points. So there's no snap working. Only this point works. And this one um, you know, snaps to these grid intersections. Um, yep, like this. I think you can um, tell the difference. So let me make it close. Then it snaps like this. So if you want to uh, snap uh, a certain point to a grid or a certain point, uh, another point, then uh, limiting the, the, the point for snap may be useful. This one as well. Yeah, so it snaps here, snaps here, but no other point snaps. And of course, you can uh, cancel it by uh, unselect everything. And now um, everything uh, will start snapping. Uh, again, and if you want to limit a point again, then uh, right click on it and the set mouse point position as the snapping point. And um, um, this will be the only point for snap. Yep, so please remember this feature. And the last thing is this is something uh, similar to uh, reusing the parts in a repository, but you can uh, import uh, SVG file. Um, from like Adobe Illustrator or um, other CAD software. Yeah, you can set the size um, for import. And this is my logo um, SVG file. And then um, this one, I believe this one uh, was exported from Adobe Illustrator software. And then uh, you could do this uh, with the previous version of Leathercraft CAD, but uh, it was uh, only for, um, you know, like a design template. There was no way, uh, you know, you could reuse this as a part uh, for your part, you know, pattern. But from this version, uh, you can right click on it and then ungroup it, and then it will disassemble all the pieces. Uh, you know into parts. So this is now a single uh, bezier curve and uh, Of course you can edit and if you want uh, You can do stitching if you want um, Something like this Yep, so uh, imagine this is uh, you, you know you one of the patterns um, You did it in the past and you can import uh, to Leathercraft CAD and continue working on uh, your design that you created in the past. And actually, a lot of people asked me uh, to add this feature, uh, but this wasn't easy. But now it's supported and you can use it. And I know uh, people want DXF file as well, uh, not only SVG, but DXF. But DXF um, is a little bit complicated file format and I need a little more time uh, to learn uh, about it so uh, it, so it will take time but in the meantime you can use uh, you know uh, other software to convert uh, DXF file into SVG and then uh, import SVG to Leathercraft CAD so that's something uh, you might want to do if you only have DXF um, you know export capabilities from the other software yep 
and um, there are some other um, you know minor enhancements and um, bug fixes so um, if you are interested um, please take a look at the, the release note it may be useful for you uh, to know what are those uh, minor enhancements are and uh, one last thing is um, I would like to talk about the commercial license because I thought I talked about it uh, in the previous version but I think I forgot it so uh, I would like to cover that part so um, until version 1.4.3 or something uh, there was a commercial license uh, section in the license agreement so you uh, I, I was asking people to pay for commercial use like uh, selling a, a you know, design pattern or, or, or something like that but um, I changed my mind uh, you know so from last version uh, 1.4.7 I took everything about the uh, the commercial license so that means this little craft cat is 100 uh, percent free to use so please don't worry about a complicated licensing structure so it's totally free so you can you can sell uh, your pattern if you want no obligation to tell me uh, you know about your commercial uh, activities please use this software uh, for any purposes well let's put it this way uh, any leather craft uh, purposes and my goal or my purpose of making the software is not to become rich not to make money but i, I just want to help people become more uh, creative by using this software that's my intention so please feel free to use uh, this software for for your project whether or not uh, it's a personal use or commercial use it doesn't really matter but at the same time, uh, it is true that I do need some help in terms of funding to continue this project. So if possible, I really appreciate uh, if you could make a donation like a once a year or something. You know, e even a little amount is fine. That will definitely help me to keep continuing this project. And again, this is not an obligation. So you don't need to feel any, uh, you know, guilty or something uh, by not donating it it's totally okay to uh, you know use it for free but if you get some success by using this software then it will be great if you could share a little something for this leather craft cat project thank you for your support and then that's it for today thank you very much for watching and i hope i will see you next time bye bye